Have you ever had any questions about adding options to our payment forms? Well, let me show you all of the options that are available. Hey job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and to kick this off, I've already chosen a form and I just have the basic information, the name and the email. So to get to the payment gateway settings over on the left hand side, we're going to choose add a form element and we're going to choose payments and any of these payment gateways where we're going to be adding some type of a product, they're all going to be the same. So just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use PayPal personal. So as soon as you choose the option that you would like to start working with, you can see that the settings automatically populate on the left-hand side. We can choose our currency. We can even choose the payment type. It's automatically going to populate to sell products, which is what we're gonna focus on today. But you can also sell subscriptions. You can have a user defined amount, or you can also collect donations. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on sell products. And then even if we click on gateway settings, there's a ton of options that you can walk through. So we can let users select multiple products. If you want that, make sure it's chose yes. We can show the total price on the form. We can be in sandbox mode. So that way, if you want to test it without actually charging a card, you can turn that on as well. We have authorization only, require a shipment address. If you're mailing something physically to an address, you definitely wanna make sure that you're requiring that address. We can change the checkout language if we want to do that. We can send a pending payment notification email to the notifiers only or to the notifiers and to the auto responders. We can have clickable image preview, decimals, and we can also choose you know, how we want that decimal separator to look. And then we can also choose an overall image and also the checkout cart color. So these are all good for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first product. And we're just gonna call this one test product one. Perfect, and we will go ahead and make this $10. If you wanna add a description, you can definitely do that. Also adding images. Then we can also auto scale the images and make this specific product required in order to submit the form. And then we can also have it selected by default. But if we go up to the top, this is where the fun starts happening. We have options and then we also have stock. So let's start with options. The first thing we have is to add a quantity selector. So if we want them to be able to choose a certain amount, we can do that. So it says show quantity selector on this form as a dropdown or a text box. A dropdown is gonna allow you to have more control over the amount as opposed to the text box. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a dropdown for this and then we can choose what that range looks like. Now, if this product is required, you wanna make sure that this range is not zero. It starts at one, right? But if it's not required, it can absolutely be zero. And then let's say we have a hundred of this product. Something else that we can do is we can also offer discounts the more people purchase. So if we want to do that, we can check this, the special pricing per quantity. So we can see that because the product is $10, every interval up, it's going to be times $10. But let's say once they purchase till we wanna give them a discount, we can go in and we can change the prices of any of these. So let's say we wanna make this one 90, we can do $10 off, right? So you can edit this as you see fit. It's going all the way to 100. So I wanna save that quantity. Perfect, and we can see that we have 101 quantity options with special pricing enabled. Now let's go ahead and let's delete this one. Let's go back and instead let's choose the text box. So right now the default quantity is one. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to zero so that way we are starting with a blank slate. Go ahead and save. And so now we can see that the person who is gonna be checking out, they can enter in the amount that they would like. Next up, we have a product option. So this is really great if you have sub products. So we have this test product one, but what if test product one comes in multiple colors or different sizes? This is where you can add in those different things. So let's say this is going to be color. Good deal. And we can also create sub products from those options. We can turn that on. And then we can also have special pricing per option. Let's go ahead and turn that on. So we can see over here on the right hand side, we have the special pricing option. So let's say we'll go ahead and follow what this says. We have red, we have green and we have blue and you can see it changing right over here. And let's say that red is $11, green is 10 and then blue is 15. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head back. Now, if you wanted to add more product options, all you have to do is just click on the add option again. And now we can choose maybe different sizing this time. And then down here, we have t-shirt size. We can automatically choose that. Perfect. 
good deal. So now we have the color, the quantity, and the size. And the last thing is that we have an option for stock. So if you choose the stock and you want to enable stock control, you can see we have all the colors and then all the sizes based on that information that we entered in. We have green, then all of the sizes. So let's say we want to say we have 10 red extra small. We have a hundred small and you can see how this goes you can edit all of these to fit what your stock looks like so we can click save and we are good to go so if we head back over to basic again we can also ensure that this is required because the purpose of this form is for them to make a purchase we want to make sure that this is required for them to check out and it's as simple as that if you have any questions about all of the options within our payment forms please let us know down below and i'll see you next time